I often have to answer the question, hey, where are your parents? And I'm like, oh, you know, just cruising the world on their yacht. <laughs> Hi, my name is Annabelle Roig, and I am the daughter of N76 Tugnacious owners Chris and Eileen Roig. And I gotta say, being the daughter of yacht owners is pretty cool. My dad grew up on the water from sailing with his dad ever since he was a little boy to working on tugboats and in second grade he knew he wanted to be a tugboat captain and that's exactly what he did and much more. He ended up owning his own company, had a whole fleet of boats, and I genuinely think he would die if he did not live within 100 feet of the water and he never has so I don't think I'll ever find out. Since he can't live without the water, that means my sister and I never had to and I genuinely think that we're probably in the same boat as he is. Pun intended. We started with a small sailboat called the Lickety Split. It was great. We used to go out on it all the time in Long Island Sound. It's pretty much what my sister and I learned how to sail on. My dad got a 30-foot main ship trawler called the Salty Peanut. And once we got that boat, we started doing a lot more overnight trips. But you know, the boat is 30 feet. So that's not a whole lot of room. So my sister and I slept outside on the settee. But then we upgraded to a 40-foot main ship trawler, also called the Salty Peanut, squared. And we got to sleep inside! It's amazing what 10 feet will do. But the appreciation of sitting inside was nothing compared to my dad getting a 76-foot Nordhaven. And not only is just the boat having the boat really cool, but just the whole process of getting the boat was amazing and something that most 17 and 18 year old girls don't get to go through. So that was part of our Nordhaven adventure was experiencing a boat being built from scratch to every last detail of what you want it to be was absolutely amazing. And while Garrett and Dan were astounding help to my father, Mingwei and Rachel were such an incredible help to my sister and I when we got to the chance to travel to Taiwan. And my sister is going to join me now and tell you a little bit about that trip because it was genuinely one of the coolest trips that we ever got to go on. So this is my sister. My name is Emma and she was kind of my wingman when we were in Taiwan when my dad and my mom had to go and do a lot of boat specific activities. Mingwei and Rachel just kind of took us around and we traveled all through Taiwan. But we got to go and try a lot of the different foods. My dad really hit it off with a lot of the crew. Him and Cooley were trading Godfather impressions at dinner. Listen to me, okay? He's a good actor, yeah. 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 That's Italian. Yeah. <laughs> Who run the over the business? I respect it. Tell I respect you. Tell Michael, Michael it was only. Yeah. Yeah. To eat a lot of different Chinese restaurants. Uh, we tried like the signature like mango ice that they made us try. Um, we also went to a few temples. Um, there is a really famous fort there that we also visited, and um, we also got to go to the night markets, which was really really cool. And we just got to experience a lot of like the Taiwanese culture. Uh, it was really interesting just to like be brought through it, and even going to the boat yard was really cool just to see how everything was built and. Our boat was about halfway done when we went, so it was cool to just see the halfway point and then a year and a half later see the whole thing built. Um, but it was definitely a big part of just us starting our own adventure with the Nord Nordhaven. Like, um, so we haven't had the boat for very long, but even before we had the boat, the adventure had already started just by getting to go to Taiwan. It's definitely a once in a lifetime adventure and I'm really grateful that we got to do it. So then, a year and a half later, we find our boat being launched in Taiwan, going to Fort Lauderdale, and eventually to Jupiter. And I swear, my dad came out of retirement with the amount of work he had to put on the boat, but then I got to see it all in December when we went to Key West. Now, I have spent every Christmas of my life in New York, in the snow, with all my family, so let me tell you, I was a little iffy to be in Key West, where it's hot, for Christmas on a boat. It's definitely a new experience, but it was an adventure and it was amazing. After Christmas, my aunt, uncle, my best friend, and her mom all came on the boat and we just traveled all around Key West. It was a whole time of like tour guide and having them just react to the boat was amazing. And we just had a blast just goofing around on the boat, walking around, going swimming. We had so much fun. 
but then every trip has to end and so then the boat came back and a few weeks later my dad took the boat to Bimini which I don't know much about because it was a boys trip and you know what happens on the boat stays on the boat and I'm gonna keep it that way. So then for the next six months, my dad spent time planning his first great big adventure with the boat and a week later, they were off. They took the boat from Jupiter all the way back home to Long Island. And on their trip there, they were met with a bunch of my father's old tugboat buddies coming out into the harbor and greeting them. The tugboats were spreading water. It was such an amazing experience for my dad. Once there, I was really excited because since they were in New York, I got to go to New York because we were having our Christmas party. We had all of my dad's old tugboat friends, family, cigar smoking buddies, and let me tell you, these guys gave my dad a run for his money with their personality. My mother christened the boat with a beautiful poem from a beautiful lady. Today as we christen this bird brand girl named Tugnatius. After the christening, my parents left for about a month and a half and they traveled all through New England. They went to Block Island first, where they spent the 4th of July. I was getting pictures constantly from my mom. She got Snapchat, so I was, my mom was Snapchatting me the whole time, which was really cool. And I could just tell that my parents were having an absolute blast. It was something that they were never going to forget. So from Black Island, they went to Boston, which was really great. I got a lot of pictures. And my dad even got to visit a lot of his tugboat friends along the way. And so then from Boston, they went to Portsmouth, Portsmouth to Provincetown, Provincetown down to Newport, and then Newport back home to Port Washington, where they keep the boat in New York. And now, I got my parents back! <laughs> And my dad is currently planning his next big trip because the trip never ends. My dad has always said that he promised my mom adventure and by doing that he basically promised my sister and I adventure and he has delivered way before he even got this boat. But getting this boat definitely set us up for the adventure of a lifetime.